Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. During winter, there's nothing better than a bowl of hot soup. They warm us up, plus they're easy to make. I probably have over 75 recipes. Not all posted yet, but I'm getting there. <laughs> there's Italian wedding soup, creamy cabbage, hot and sour, split pea and ham, and so on. Now, here's another one. <laughs> In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my cauliflower cheese soup. It's so delicious, creamy, and cheesy. <laughs> With fresh ingredients like carrots, celery, onions, cauliflower, of course, half and half, cheese and seasonings, this is the perfect soup to enjoy this season. So my friends, let's get cooking. We'll add butter to a Dutch oven and set the heat to medium. When it's melted and starts sizzling, we'll add the onions, sprinkle on some salt to help them sweat, and saute them for two minutes. Next, we'll add celery and carrots. Then saute until the vegetables are tender, about five minutes. To this, we'll add pressed garlic and you know the drill. We'll quickly saute it for only one minute. Now, we'll add an ingredient that might surprise you, Dijon mustard. That's right. This will give a nice taste to the soup. We'll simply stir to coat the vegetables. Then we'll add all-purpose flour, stir well, and cook for one minute, enough to remove that raw taste from it. And yes, we'll stir constantly. Next, we'll pour in half and half and stir very well, scraping the bottom of the pot just in case something stuck. Many times, after adding some flour, the ingredients can stick at the bottom, so let's make sure our soup will be nice and smooth. So now, we'll pour in low-sodium chicken broth before adding the star of the show, the cauliflower. There's a great tutorial on how to cut this cruciferous vegetable, so to view it, click on the top right corner of your screen. We'll season with dried thyme leaves, followed by freshly ground black pepper and a little bit of cayenne pepper. We'll stir until everything is well mixed and bring the mixture to a boil. When it gets there, we'll cover, reduce the heat to medium-low and cook for 15 minutes. Later on, we'll remove the lid Give a good stir and cook for another 15 minutes or until the cauliflower is soft. Next, using an immersion blender, we'll process until somewhat smooth, leaving little chunks. You don't have to do this step, but I think it's more enjoyable that way. If you're using a regular blender, work in batches, making sure to place a tower on the lid and put your hand over so it doesn't splash everywhere. When we're happy with the texture, we'll add the cheese by the handful and stir very well between each addition until it's all melted. That way, the cheese won't clump up. One important thing to keep in mind is to make sure the soup doesn't boil, otherwise the cheese will break down. Keep the heat on medium-low and don't worry, the cheese will melt. When the cheese is all incorporated, like I always say, we'll taste and adjust if necessary. We'll serve the soup in warm bowls, garnish with cooked bacon, some croutons, and fresh chopped parsley. And my friends, this is our cauliflower cheese soup. This is another winter soup that's not only delicious but healthy as well. Similar to my broccoli cheddar soup, this is a delightful way to enjoy cauliflower. 
this season, you definitely have to make this tasty recipe. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit! Thank <laughs> you.